There is a person kneeling. Who are you going to ask about why they are kneeling? Are you going to ask the person on his knee, or are you going to ask somebody with a column in the Daily Mail? OK, maybe that hasn't quite worked yet. So you are on one knee. You, you personally. And if you don't like the idea of being on one knee, uh, arthritis perhaps would be uh, a preventative. You might be saluting or you might be doing star jumps. Admittedly, that would be even harder with arthritis than getting down on one knee. But, but still the point stands. Don't forget about the footballers. Forget about anybody else. You are on one knee for a reason. Who would you like to reveal what that reason is? Or even who would you like to stand up in the public space and state without the possibility of uh, contradiction why you are on one knee? Would you like that person to be you? Or would you like that person to be a columnist in The Spectator magazine? Or, or a presenter on GBBs? Who, who would you like to speak for you in answer to the question of why you are on one knee? Would you like me to do it? Would you like me to stand up in public and state, I know why he's on his knee. I know why she's on her knee. It's because dot, 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 dot. Or do you think that the answer to that question should be provided by you? That's a rhetorical question. But in the current climate, apparently, it needs pointing out that it would be pant-wettingly stupid, not to mention deeply and profoundly dishonest, deceptive and disingenuous, to pretend that anybody else is better qualified than you are to tell the rest of us why you are on your knee. But here we are. Pretty Patel, the Home Secretary, one of the highest offices in the land, albeit that it's occupied by a proven liar and bully. It remains one of the highest offices in the land. She felt that she was better qualified to tell you why men like Marcus Rashford and Tyrone Mings and Harry Kane and Harry Maguire were on one knee than they were themselves. Pretty Patel, the Home Secretary, albeit a proven bully and liar, thought that she had more right to tell you why those men were on their knee than they did. Because they told us why they were taking a knee. They told us again and again and again. And just in case there was any doubt left, Gareth Southgate stepped up and explained with remarkable clarity and articulacy precisely why his players, his squad, his team, his charges were taking a knee before football games. There is no confusion. We have segued smoothly in this country into a place where we actually now have debates about things that are not debatable. I could open up these phone lines now and fill the switchboard with people queuing up to tell me why the footballers are taking a knee and why they know better than the actual footballers. Could fill it up. But just pause for a moment and reflect upon how surreal that is. And if you still don't get it, Imagine it was you. Imagine you were on one knee and everybody came to ask me why you were doing it. And the explanation I offered, the answer I provided, bore no resemblance whatsoever to the truth, to your truth about your knee in your life. Pretty Patel, without really realising how despicable her conduct was, took it upon herself in pursuit of a very predictable constituency of voters to tell you why other people whom she'd never met but who had explained why they were taking a knee before football games were really taking a knee before football games. And she had the audacity, she had the, 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 the crass obnoxiousness to describe it as gesture politics. I know why they hate it. They hate it because it works. They hate it because it gets noticed. All of the people who pretend to believe that they've only got a problem with protests when they're violent suddenly had a fit of the vapours, threw their dummies out of prams and clutched their pearls so tightly the necklaces broke because these men had found a way, post Dr King, post Colin Kaepernick, these men had found a way to protest with epic peacefulness about racism. And it worked. It cut through. And do you know the most important thing about this? And this perhaps is an insight into all of the people claiming that they, they actually would really support Kick It Out. Kick It Out is an anti-racism organisation four square behind the taking of a knee. They never mentioned that. But they said, why can't we just concentrate on Kick It Out? Why do we have to take a knee? The reason why they've got such a problem with this is that you can't ignore it. 
you, if I had a radio program and I was possessed of views that were very, very, very far to the right with regard to racial equality, with regard to basic decency, with regard to, for example, Christian values, then I would no doubt be urging uh, other schemes that haven't succeeded over the years on anything like the scale that the taking of a knee has succeeded to supersede the taking of a knee. Oh, I think we should all stop taking the knee now. I think we've all had enough. Yeah, right. You stop taking the knee when people like Marcus Rashford and Tyro Mings and Jaden Sancho don't get treated differently from their white counterparts. That's when you stop doing it. Except look what I just did. You don't stop doing it when I say... You don't stop doing it when I think the time is right, because I'm not doing it. How arrogant would I have to be to think that my opinion on when they should and shouldn't take the knee mattered one jot? These football players, these men, they can stop taking the knee when they want to. That's the point, isn't it? You want to know what white privilege is? White pri privilege is me sitting here that my opinion on when they should and shouldn't take the knee matters one jot. It's up to them. It's up to them and their colleagues of every colour. Incredible, isn't it? Even someone who spends about three hours a day patting himself on the back for being such a, a, a clear-eyed uh, supporter of equality just fell into that trap. How dare I have a view on when they should and shouldn't stop taking the knee? They stop taking the knee when they want to, when they feel the moment is right. And guess what? If you were on one knee, or you were doing star jumps, or you were doing salutes... It isn't for me to decide when you stop doing it, any more than it's for me to decide why you're doing it. It's you. Mm -hmm.